Welcome back to the Only One Hippos videos, and today I went out here on vacation in Florida, and I came out on the porch, and I found this tree frog. Let's get into it. Cuban tree frog. Don't worry, they are here. It's not it's not been imported from Cuba. They are known to be here. They're a common species here in Florida. That just like all tree frogs, they're gonna be insectivorous. Which means oh well, let's hope we got some footage while we can. I'm gonna have to just talk about it from here on out. Let's see here. They are nocturnal, which is why obviously it's nine out. So um, they're going to be eating insects since they're insectivores, like flies, ants, beetles, basically insects they can find from in that mouth of theirs. And if you look closely, you can see that they have not rounded pupils, but pupils that go straight across their eyes, which helps them look at night, which is a good sign. Are most nocturnal animals, so that's why you will most likely see most tree frogs and Cuban tree frogs, especially out during the night. Now, let's talk about their coloration. Coloration most tree frogs, like the tree frog that we featured, the green American green tree frog, this tree frog is not green. I don't know that I said this in the last video, but an American green tree frog is green, so we can blend in with the leaves. And the Cuban tree frog is brown so it can blend in with the bark. So it's really good to hide from predators. And their predators are going to be like big birds of prey and sometimes some larger mammals. Also snakes. But snakes are not snakes are going to be more for terrestrial frogs and tree frogs. But there we and then they have Toe pads, which help them stick on to vertical surfaces like this railing. That's what helps them stick on to the trees and the vertical surface. And they are pretty big. I'll say about five inches big, long. They have a big mouth to fit big stuff, big food in. But they have a good jump. I don't know what I got on video. But let me see if I can catch these guys. And yep, I can. Woo! <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm just going to get a hook to skip by little guy. So he left. I got slime all on me. Like most amphibians, they, put, they have slime coating on their body to, instead of skin or scales, they have slime to protect themselves from the elements. Like, He's there on the rock, you can't really see him, but very slimy, they, and they're going to be living in these tropical areas such as Florida because they do need high humidity. That's the Cuban tree frog. I was able to catch it, but I don't know where I got that on video. If you want to learn more about tree frogs, go to the description, and I will link the video about the green tree fold that I called at my house. So I'll see you later. Adios. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later. Adios.